welcome, yes. welcome, welcome to another Live at Five. We are so excited today. Super, super excited. We have a superstar in our midst. <laughs> a superstar in our midst. <laughs> if you can spot it, you got it. Ooh. Oh, yes. He's yes. already getting started, y'all. He's already getting started. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Daria jackson Leganier from New York City, along with my partner, Takeisha Ryan from Florida. And then we have Dr. Stan from Texas. What part of Texas are you from? Just north of Dallas. All right. All right. All right. All right. What's going on, Janet? Thank you for jumping on. Um, as everybody is uh, jumping on, just make sure that um, you say hi in the comments. Make sure you click on the top where it says StreamYard so we can actually see who's commenting to give StreamYard, StreamYard position to show your name. We would love to shout you out in our live. And if you are catching the replay, just put hashtag replay. Just let us know. We like to know who is re who is watching us. Oh, all right. Sophia, what's going on? What's up? What's up? What's up? We got a couple of people jumping on. This is beautiful. So we have Dr. Stan, a.k.a. Dr. Breakthrough. And you're going to yes. watch what that means in a moment because he's going he's gonna to bring it. <laughs> Absolutely. He is a master trainer, which you will hear. Awesome speaker. Every time I hear him speak, I'm motivated. He can say A, B, C, E, F, G. And, and he say, does say that, A, B, C, E, right? Oh, yeah, he's going to say that too. Y'all going to hear, right? Uh, he's an author. So you're going to learn about the books that he has written and an amazing martial artist, guys. So he is going to bring it for us today and make sure Sometime in this um, presentation, Dr. Stan, that you tell us about the story when you was um, a little kid at the railroad tracks. That yeah. story, um, I always think about that when I see you, you know, in my feed and stuff and, and see where you are today. So um, it's really amazing, you know, your journey, you know, and, and the amount of people that you have touched along in your journey. So, um, E, take it away. Absolutely. Uh, as always, <laughs> you know, we want to come in strong and we want to ask some good questions. So, Dr. Sand, we just want to know for our audience, you know, can you just share with us just when and why you decided to come into the online space? Okay, well, <clears throat> one for one reason, and a lot of people wanted me to mentor them and it just got impossible to mentor everyone. And so I developed uh, what's called the Internet Mentor where I can mentor people, which I felt was crazy that it was available, right? When I went to buy it, I was like, wait a minute, it's it's available. And so I was able to get that internet mentor where I could put a lot of my trainings online so that uh, because I have people from not just the US, all over the world, and they just kept bombarding me, you know? And so, uh, you know, I was mentoring one and then two and then three and then 10 and 100 and a thousand. Like, I had no time wow. left, right? Wow. And so I had to learn to become what I call a CLO, chief leveraging officer. See, mm -hmm. Archimedes said, if I had a lever long enough and a prop strong enough, I could single-handedly move the world. So when we leverage systems and people in different situations, so I learned to leverage the online space to get more done to what I needed to be done. Now, let me just say this. Someone said to me today, they said, um, man, you are so inspiring. Well, I said, let me tell you the truth. I've been inspired enough to be an inspiration. I've been taught enough to be a teacher. I've been mentored enough to be a mentor. I've been taught enough to be a teacher. I've been blessed enough to be a blessing. And so it all came again because I've received, because others have poured into me. And that's why I love what you two are doing here, exposing people to different uh, uh, people and different concepts that can help change your lives. Because my main message, by the way, is this, and that is every master was once a mess Hmm. Therefore, every mess can one day be a master. Oh, come on. Right they ain't hearing me. Let me say that. I just want to hear that myself. I me, said, me. Because, see, people think they see me now and they think, man, this. See, but see, you got to understand, see, behind the glory, there's always a story. And sometimes the story is so gory 
some folk don't want to tell it and uh, some folk don't want to hear it. Right. But, you know, I put on my Facebook the other day that uh, broken, you know, even broken crayons color. And I put on my Facebook the other day. Um, one of my friends said, dude, like, I, I just love your vulnerability. Well, first of all, there's most victory comes through vulnerability, vulnerability. See, people don't always want someone that everything's just perfect and everything's just working just right for them. They want to hear about your struggles. They want to hear about where you came from, right? And so I put on Facebook uh, thing was the other day that my story is filled with broken pieces, terrible choices, and ugly truths, but it's also filled with a major comeback. I should have said major comebacks. Come on now. And peace in my soul and a grace that saved my life. And then I said broken crayons still color. And the beautiful thing is when you give up on yourself, and again, I don't know what everybody's belief system is, but I believe in an almighty God. And matter of fact, I'm not a religious person. I have a relationship with a living God. And every morning early before the sun comes up, I spend time uh, praying and walking and talking with him and getting uh, power for the day. I, I know this is going to be off the chart, first of all, because you two are conducting it. Come on now. Uh, but then I prayed that he would give me power and unction and that everything would be said that would bless the audience that would bring value to people. And so as a three-year-old boy, my dad left, never came home, never called, never sent to dime. And uh, at six years of age, I was in the middle of a field playing and a gang of teenagers came my way. Um, and uh, we, we lived not far from the railroad, on the other side of those railroad tracks, right? But mm -hmm. uh, in the projects or what they call the ghettos back then, and I was so afraid, I froze in my tracks. And, and because here I am, a six year old boy, and these teenagers are coming my way. And, and how, how many times do you know your body gives you signals, right? And, well, uh, and yeah. right, yeah, it's like something's going to happen, and it didn't feel like a good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I froze in my tracks. You know, sometimes fear can paralyze you. Now, I teach people if, if, if you're going to deal with fear, mm -hmm. let feel prope fear propel you. Because I've been yeah. chased by a dog and I run, man, I could outrun you saying both if a dog's chased. Come on, somebody. I know that's right. <laughs> that's being propelled by fear. But this time mm -hmm. I was paralyzed by my fear. And one guy grabbed me, bam, hit me in the stomach. I'm a six year old boy, by the way. Bam, knocked air out of me. You know, uh, 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 you know, you're trying to breathe, but you can't breathe. You know, and, and again, I'm a six year old boy. My mind is like, what's going on? And they start pounding on me. And again, these are teenagers. I'm just a six year old boy. And and the reason I didn't try to run is I figured. Now listen carefully. If I try to run, I'm just little. They're big. They could outrun me. Now I'm, that could be the truth, but maybe I could have screamed. Maybe I could have gotten away. I'll never know because I never even tried. I never even gave it a shot. And so, folks, listen, you, you, you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take. I mean, my story may have been a little different. I don't know, but I'll never know because I never gave it a shot. And some of you, that's why these two powerhouses are trying to inspire and encourage and, and mentor you, because some of you, you're being stuck in the circle of sameness and you're trying to stay in your comfort zone and your breakthrough is just on the other side of your comfort zone. So here's what happened. They, they start pounding and beating all over me. And one guy picked me up and slammed me on the ground. I'm a six-year-old boy. I'm crying. I'm screaming for mom, help, help. I'm yelling. I'm, of course, nobody stopped to help. I'm on the ground. They start stomping on me like I'm an ant or a roach, and they start kicking all over me. And literally from the time, by this time, I'm bleeding from everywhere you can bleed, and you would think that was enough. But for these guys, it wasn't enough. One guy flipped me over. I'm laying up the lay on my back, face up, took a great big old bucket of tar, poured it on my face, poured it on my body. They took a bunch of feathers, threw them on me, left me there literally in the middle of a field to die. Thank God somebody found me, rushed me to the hospital. The tar wasn't hot, but it was thick and almost suffocated. But they got me to the hospital, got me taken care of. And I'm so glad for that. But my life was a mess. I don't have time to go through all the physical abuse and the verbal abuse and the sexual abuse, trying to commit suicide on two occasions before I was even 12 years of age. And I tell people, I'm so glad I failed. <laughs> right? Yeah. Some stuff you're supposed to fail at. But through all that, through all that pain, through all that my friend, if God was able to use that, and I'll turn it back to you, but someone put it this way, well, actually me, pain and adversity causes some men and women to break. It's a catalyst for others to break records. And so your pain, you're going to allow it to break you down? Right. Or are you going to allow it? I love to that. And I so love I that. I'm going to learn how to protect myself. And that's where you see all these. And that's wow. a whole other story. But go ahead. That was <laughs> yes, great that's phenomenal. So I, I mean, I, I know you say you had to come online because you had so many, so many people 
But the first year that you were online, what types of challenges did you have? And how did you overcome those challenges? Every every challenge imaginable. So everybody, <laughs> everybody write this down. It's the yeah. same challenges I had when I got involved in the martial arts. It's the same challenges I had when I got married. It's the same challenges I had when I, I mean, every business I've started is all the same. Write this down, though. You got to be committed to the process. Now, now, just in case they missed to help me out, keyword number one is process. So number one, they got to be committed to the what? To the process. The process. Good, good. Thank you. So they got to be committed to the process, get this now, of being or feeling bad. Okay. Mm. Key, keyword number one is process. Keyword number two is being mm. or feeling bad. Okay. Feeling so, bad. So help me out. You got to be committed to the what? Process, process. Yes, of right. being or feeling bad. bad. Here it is. For as long as it takes to get good. Ooh, Ooh come on now. He just dropped it like it's holy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so watch it. So you got to be committed. This changed my life in every area. You got to be committed to the process of being bad or feeling bad for as long as it takes to get good. See, watch this. Yeah. My, mom, my mom wanted a free month of karate lessons, and I went with her. And I got four brothers. None of them were interested and even going with her, I le I went and watched. They were kicking, screaming, hollering, chopping. And I thought, man, this is great. And her mm -hmm. she, her free month ran out. By the way, some people say, oh, that's a coincidence. No, coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous, right? Because here I am, I make up my mind. I got to learn how to protect myself. And all of a sudden, my mom wins a free month of karate lesson. So her free month is gone. But guess what? When you're serious about something, you're willing to invest. And uh, matter of fact, even better, like my wife says, when we, I married my ABCD, my adorable Brown Carmel Delight. She said, baby, we don't ever want to spend money. I was like, oh, I married this beautiful woman and she don't want to spend money. I didn't hit the jackpot. She said, no, I don't, we only want to circulate money. I was like, okay, like that it. sounds good, but what does that mean? She said, Why baby, when you spend money, it's gone forever. But she said, when you circulate money, it goes out and it comes back, a never ending cycle of increase yeah. and enjoyment. I was like, oh, this is a brilliant, beautiful, bodacious woman, right? And so ever since then, we look for ways to circulate our money. Hence, that's why we started online businesses. But again, if everybody can get the principle, like I said, I watched my mom, her free months went out. Now she's serious. She starts circulating money every month. She's getting better and better and better until one month she got too good. Now y'all got to ask me what's too good. All right, what's, what's too good? good? Her and her boyfriend got in a fight and she knocked him out cold. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw my five foot one mom knock out a six foot one dude, I was like, I don't know what this karate stuff is, but this is going to be my ticket for protecting myself, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but when I started, I tripped over my own feet. When I got started, they made fun of me. They called me Mr. Baboon, right? And uh, But here's the key, though. I understood this principle. I didn't know that I didn't have the words, but I did it. And now I learned to pen it out. And that is if I was committed to the, see, I figured if this, if this, this sensei, that's a Japanese word for teacher instructor. Mm -hmm. Now I'm bad, but if he's good, if I just stick around long enough, he could help me to get good. Right? right. And so again, if you are committed to the process and you got to understand it's a process, it's not an overnight thing. That's why so many people, they, they bum out online because they want to overnight be an overnight success. No, no. you got to fail your way to success. Right. Fail. See, matter of fact, people say, uh, see, failure is not just not just the opposite of success. That's not just it. Failure is one of the biggest parts of success. <laughs> show me a success and I'll show you someone who broke through the failure who broke through the, the low esteem, who broke through the I can't to the I can, hello, that broke through the what if it goes wrong to what if it goes better than I thought it was, hello, somebody. So right. here's what I'm saying. So so if you could be committed to the process of being bad or feeling bad, see, most of us don't want to feel bad. Most of us, but see, you got to be willing to do put up with that for a while. So, so in my mind, I had to formulate, if you're committed to the process of feeling better, being bad for as long as it takes to get good, you can get good at anything. So when I started the martial arts, like I said, I tripped over my own feet. They laughed at me. And I told them, I said, y'all better laugh now because one day I'm going to whoop all y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that day came, by the way. <laughs> I know we did. And, and I retired several years ago, by the way, as a heavyweight champion. Uh, I've got about four other boxes of these Ooh, in my garage. And uh, my wife, uh, <laughs> I gave a bunch away. My wife's like, baby, enough is enough, right? But even when I first, you know, first got married, you know, you got a man and a woman, for, you know, were from total opposites, and, and, yeah. and I was terrible as a husband at first. But well, not terrible. Well, mm, well, I wasn't as good as I wanted to be. Put it that way, you know, because okay. every because everything's comparison. 
But I know one thing, you know, it's like, you know, after the honeymoon phase, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, reality starts kicking in. And so so what I'm saying is, but I had to realize, OK, I got to be committed to the process of being bad or feeling like a bad husband as long as it takes to get good. And let me get some yeah. older, wiser mentors that can help me. And uh, now, my friend, I have people that all they're asking us constantly. Can you teach us about that? Can you teach? But baby, it wasn't always this sweet and good. <laughs> right, exactly. Come on, somebody. So we had to go through right. the bad spots, the rough yeah. spots. The you know, my wife, she's so wise. She would she often would say, "We're just getting to know each other. We're just it's just a, a molding, learning process, right?" Because again, yeah. two become one, right? Mm -hmm. And so, matter of fact, that's a beautiful thing that uh, I encourage young couples, you know, and their marriage ceremony. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's take two candles, and then when they pronounce you, they put the two together at the yeah. like one right and so i say for a good marriage has to be two deaths and only one resurrection come on somebody yeah. and yeah. Uh, but guess what that was a pro so again but that's the process of being bad feeling bad till as long as it takes to get good when i started speaking years ago i was terrible but guess what but i was committed to the process of what feeling bad or being bad for as long as it took to get good and i got so good that i got voted into the motivational speakers hall of fame i got so good yeah. that i've been paid as much as forty seven thousand dollars to speak one hour don't worry y'all get a discount uh, <laughs> but what i'm saying is this but when i started i was terrible i didn't like myself i couldn't stand myself and so but here's the problem people keep wanting to be inside their comfort zone no your breakthrough your whatever you need is on the other side of your comfort zone so make the commitment of being bad or feeling bad for as long as it takes to get good and then my friend before my instructor died he said to everybody dr harris dr stan harris aka dr breakthrough when i die everything passes on to him and so i feel honored that my whole entire system that my grandmaster that now that's passed on to me you see mm -hmm. what i'm saying and but if i had to quit when i felt bad Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. If I had quit mm -hmm. when it wasn't going well, and so I'm talking to somebody mm -hmm. now, you're just starting your online business. That's why you got to be part of their group. That's why you got to be have their mentorship. You got to be because why? Because see, one of the things they taught me in the martial arts that again that changed my life, and this is mm -hmm. noteworthy, right? Worth writing down too. And that is this: they said, if while you practice, you don't want to quit, you haven't really practiced. Think about that. If mm -hmm. while you practice, you don't want to quit. You haven't really practiced. In other words, you got to work out to the body says, you know, I had enough. And the wheel says, oh, no, you haven't. You got to keep on keeping on. And so success happens. Why? When someone says, you know, I'm not going to give in to my emotions. I'm going to give in to my devotion. Oh, come on, somebody. Not my emotions. But but how many times in a fit of emotion we say things, do things. But look, but, but if we can, our devotion, that's the thing. And so I was devoted. And I'm like, look. I'm, I will until, right? I just keep my mm -hmm. will until. But if while you yeah. practice, you don't want to quit, you haven't really practiced. So guess what? When I got started in business and everybody else was getting discouraged, I was like, I must be doing something right. Because because <laughs> if while you do business, you don't want to quit, you're not really doing business, right? So so, right. so that's why personal development and growth, by the way, I put on Facebook not a while ago, if you think you know me based on a year or even six months ago, let me reintroduce myself. My growth game is so strong. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> say that thing again. That's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so did that did that answer your question? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, of I course. We already knew we were gonna so. bring it. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I wish people knew the story, the real story behind the people. See, everybody that that you look up to, uh, that I tell people, everybody you admire, and we all have people that we look up to and admire. And if you don't, you ought to, because there's always people who who are who are beyond us, who are gone, done more, whatever, and should inspire us and so forth. Now we're going to be ourselves, but we're going to allow the the characteristics, the principles, uh, to influence us, right? Their commitment, their dedication, and so forth. And so, uh, but here's the thing: like I said, if you first of all realize they started off as a mess and they became a master so now you might consider yourself a mess but you can one day be a master and by the way every true ooh, this is good mentee is really a mentor in the making oh let me say it again ooh. every mentee is really a mentor in the making and through mentorship by the way uh, um I, I said uh oh my goodness i wish i could have I should have had y'all post this picture, but I got a picture of me breaking bricks, uh, a bunch of stack of bricks. Oh, and, and yes. I put, I and that. I put on post, there. You yeah, can put, post Dr. Stan. Go oh, really? ahead and post it in the group. We'll approve it. Okay. But it says, the picture says, what I once deemed impossible 
now after mentorship and a mental shift is done almost effortlessly and has a picture of me breaking these 22 inches of bricks, right? Mm. So I see people doing, I thought that was impossible. And as long as I thought it was, see, if you think you are beaten, you are. And if you think you dare not, you won't. If you'd like to win, but think you can, it's almost a sense you won't. If you think you will lose, you've already lost. For this powerful truth, we find success begins with a person's will. It's all a state of mind. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger woman or man. But sooner or later, those who win, those who first think and then know that they can. So the power of mentorship and having a mental shift away from what you can't do, away from what well, I'm not that good. Well, see, I learned to say this. Y'all ready for this? I'm not that good yet. <laughs> yeah. Y-E-T, yet. But my day is yeah. coming, see? So if I get me the right mentors and I have the mental shift away from how bad I am to how good I'm going to be. Oh, come on, somebody. Because I'm committed to feel bad or be bad for as long as it takes to get good. So mentors, mentors are the easiest, fastest, most reliable way of mastering any skill. It was Socrates that mentored Plato, and then Plato mentored Aristotle. It was Aristotle who mentored Alexander the Great, and then Andrew Carnegie who mentored Napoleon Hill, who wrote the book Think and Grow Rich. And then Napoleon Hill mentored W. Clement Stone, and W. Clement Stone mentored uh, Jack Canfield, co-author of the Billion Dollar, with a B, Billion Dollar book series, Chicken Soup for the Soul. Uh, uh, Benjamin Graham mentored Warren Buffett, and of course, Warren Buffett has mentored millions. Uh, Dr. Benjamin Mays mentored a young guy named MLK, now known as Dr. Martin Luther King, and of course, he has mentored millions. Even Man. in his death, he's continued to mentor millions. That's Bill right. Bailey mentored Les Brown, and Les Brown, of course, mentored millions, and at one time spoke to over 80,000 people in Atlanta, Georgia Dome. Bill Bailey also yeah. mentored Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn mentored millions, and among those he mentored this young guy, you probably would have heard of him. His name is Tony Robbins. And of course, Tony Robbins now has mentored tens of millions. He's not so young anymore. But anyway, uh, it was uh, uh, in the Bible, Moses mentored Joshua, and Joshua meant to help to mentor those three million Israelites. And Elijah mentored a young guy named Elisha. Elisha mentored a widow woman who lost her husband, was about to lose her children. He helped her to start a business in the Bible. By the way, she turned around and mentored her two sons. And then, my friend, it was uh, Ruth who, who mentored, uh, uh, no, no, Naomi. A, no, Amy, Naomi, excuse me, who Naomi. mentored Ruth. And then in the New Testament, Paul uh, was mentored by Ananias. And uh, we can go on and on. Paul then, of course, mentored young Timothy. But here's the main thing. Jesus mentored disciples and said, the works that I do shall you do also. Here it is, and greater works than these. So again, the mentee not just has the power or potential of doing what the mentor has done. A mentee has the power of doubling what the mentee has done. So I'm going to turn it back to you, but here's what I say. If you believe like I believe and do like I do, what happens to me can happen to you, but because I'm not the standard, it can happen even better for you. That's my desire, and that's my prayer. Come on now. It's wow. right. Okay. Woo. Yes, Daria, take it, take it home, yes, Daria. Go, go ahead, Daria. <laughs> goodness, 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 guys, yes. you are getting value from this. Put value in the value in the chat. Let's <laughs> absolutely. Let's see. Let's see what we got oh going on. The chat going, but they this are absolutely doing some awesome. They they're rolling with you. They're saying mindset yes. awesome. My yes. day is coming. I'm seeing yeses that push yes. that pull through. Okay, the values are coming through. So, Dr. Yes. you you are lighting it up like we knew you would. <laughs> hey, by, the, <laughs> by the way, every day I say to myself, mm -hmm. money flows freely and frequently from expected and unexpected sources in exchange for the value that I consistently bring to the marketplace. Let me say that again. Yes. I said every day of my life, I say money flows freely mm -hmm. and frequently mm -hmm. from expected and unexpected sources in exchange for the value that I consistently bring to the marketplace. See, one of my main mentors, Bill Bailey, he helped me with this especially. I said, Mr. Bailey, you had hit a company grossing $64 million a month in the 70s. No email, no fax machine. I was like, what in the world you do? He said, young Dr. Breakthrough, you asked the wrong question. Yep, I'm like, okay. Uh, now I could have let my ego, E-G-O, edging God out. Hello, mm -hmm. my ego, E-G-O, edging greatness out. My ego, E-G-O, everything God. No, no, I won't let my ego get in the way. I said, okay, excuse me, sir. Forgive me, I asked the wrong question. 
what's the right question I should have asked you? Right. <laughs> and here's what he said. You should have asked me how many people's lives I added value to that resulted in $64 million. Because if you master bringing value to the marketplace, you can't help but eventually start receiving value back from the marketplace. Yeah. He said, you're a spiritual man. I know you're a minister of the gospel. What did Jesus do? That's why I know in the book of Acts chapter 10, it talks about he went about doing good and healing all those other diseases. He said, great. He said, now I'm just old hillbilly, uh, Kentucky hillbilly. Can I give that to you in hillbilly language? I said, sure. He said, that means that everywhere Jesus went, he added value to people's lives. Sure so he did. said, master giving value. When you go to a grocery store, say a kind word, lift every, like make a difference in everybody's life. Even if it's just a smile, if it's a kind word, it's something, but do something. And so now I've learned to, I've been sowing these seeds of value. So now again, I say every day, money flows freely and frequently from expected and unexpected sources in exchange for the value that I consistently bring to the marketplace. And wow. so when you do an online business, you have to find something that brings great value. And then you got to get good at giving what I call irresistible offers, right? It's an offer too good to refuse, right? All right. Like, man, if this person gives this much value for free, man, if I take their paid training, if I, oh my good. But see, a lot of speakers and trainers, they want to keep their best. It's like, oh, I want to give too much and they won't want to take my stuff. No, 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 no. You want to just pack them up with so much value. They're like, oh my goodness, right? And so but Bill Bailey really helped me to nail that thing down. And so I'm ever grateful to him. So uh, again, so all the people that poured into my life that saw things in me that I couldn't see and helped change my life. So I'm really just a debtor. And so now I've been blessed to speak in all 50 states, 28 countries, just passing the value along. Wow. We are we are really blessed to have you here on our platform. Absolutely. We really, really you know are. it, you know, and then speaking well, of you value, it. which you always give you over deliver what would you say is the best platform to be on for people to get to know you or get to know you know what you offer um well i um obviously facebook you know do a lot of uh posts right that uh, brings value to people mm -hmm. and then i i actually have a, some free things available on the internet mentor.com the internet mentor.com mm -hmm. um, there's actually what i call a daily attitude adjuster that people can get access to and it's um, no cost. And then there's a little training I do called the art, of, the art of Selling Without Selling. Now, I do a full six series thing that's, that's you know, you have to pay for it, but there's a uh, like a 40 minute entry uh, that's absolutely free. So it's called mm -hmm. the, art, the Art of Selling Without Selling. So if they go to the internetmentor.com. And by the way, when I'm talking about selling, this is so powerful, I'm not, Selling is not just about business and, and the accounts. Yeah. The greatest thing I had to do was sell myself to myself about myself. Come on, somebody. <laughs> That's right. See, That's people right. on Facebook, they say stuff like this. I hope you have a good day. I always respond back. Oh, I'm going to create it on purpose because I am on assignment. Oh, come on now. Yeah. See, watch this now. I, it ain't no more hope. It ain't no more. I think, no, I, I know what it takes to create. I it's I'm the responsible one. So I'm going to create anytime I want to. I can create a great day. I'm going to do it on purpose because I'm on assignment. Now, I ordered a smoothie. Uh, I love Smoothie King. I got a Smoothie King. Guy. So I ordered a smoothie, went to pick it up, and I picked it up. And so they, they, they Dr. Stanley, I said, yes. I said, thank you. They said, well, have a good day. I said, thank you. I will on purpose. And they said, what? I've never heard that before. I said, yeah, I'm on purpose because I'm on assignment. And uh, and so many times it opens up the door also for conversation because people are like, wait a minute, this guy's like so like positive. He's you know, so like, I mean, you know. So, and positive people, it's not that everything is positive, it's that they see the positivity in everything. Exactly. As the greatest book I've written says, yeah. all things work together for good, for them that love God, for those who are called according to his purpose. So that means, I, you know, I may not see the good now, but the good, it would come. Um, so I don't see it yet. Yes. Here it is, right. but it's coming. And by the way, Y-E-T, I'm not, okay. I got a whole training on this, Y-E-T, you, are you ready? Yet, you ready. eventually triumph. Oh! <laughs> Oh, make fun yeah. of me now. 
but I'm on a vacation. Yeah. Come on, somebody. So that's yeah. why when I get knocked down, I just keep getting back up. That's why when mm -hmm. I started one online business and the owner ran off with the money, I started another one, and that one got shut down, started another one, and, and people with jobs kept saying, what's wrong with you? I'm like, when you lose your job, don't you get another one? Well, come on now. And, Say it again, uh, Dr. Stan. I said, when you lose your job, don't you go get another one? So don't be mad at me. If something happens to my business, I just start another one, right? And Woo. so listen, I, I don't make fun of people because they – they're starting over again for the 30th time or 40th time. I'm the one congratulating them that they didn't throw in the towel and give up like most exactly. people have done, right? Exactly. And so they just keep on, keep on, keep on, on. keep on, and keeping on and keeping on. That's and right. On. And yes. so if you just keep on giving value, Proverbs 28 20 yes. says, a faithful man, the word man is not male, yes. it's mankind. So a faithful man shall abound with blessings. So if you just keep, if you just got to be faithful, just got to be consistent. You just, you just got to keep building and doing. Like people ask me, how do you build a team of 1.5 million people in a hmm. network marketing company? Well, first of all, online made a big difference. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, did, I did high touch and high tech. See, some people yeah. are high touch. And I mastered high touch. And then, of course, I had to start doing the internet. And I was so glad because when COVID hit, you had to be all high tech, right? Yeah, big time. Big time. So, so I'm glad I already had it mastered by that, by that point. Yep. Or in the you like it or not. Process, right? But so, so I say if you can mix high tech, I mean, high touch and high tech, you get a bigger check. Oh, 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 oh. High touch, high tech. There it is. Yeah. And Woo. so anyway, so that's what we Woo. learned to do. And so, folks, uh, again, that's why you want to... Co um, connect with other people and uh, collaborate. See, one plus one equals two. That's cooperation. But one and one equals 11. That's collaboration. One to chase a thousand, put two to put 10,000 to flight. And so the power of collaboration, that's why my ABCD, my adorable brown karma delight. I mean, I'm a super extrovert. She's a super introvert, but she's got strengths I don't have and vice versa. By the way, when we first got married, she kept calling me her king. I was like, I was like, I didn't quite feel. I was like, baby. And she's like, no, my king. Matter of fact, when her, when you call, if you see her phone, when I'm calling, it'll say my king. Right. But when we first got married many years ago, and I was like, I, I mean, because I grew up in a church where we were, you know, we're taught to be super humble and that actually right. meant denying who God made you, whatever. But anyway, <laughs> we, we thought we were being humble. But anyway, and so, uh, and so, uh, but I was like, I don't know if I'm really, uh, she's like, babe, you're my king. You're my king. And she kept saying, king, king. Then one day, I was like, I start calling her my queen. Then one day it dawned on me. She knew who she was. She said, well, this brother don't know. I'm going to help him. <laughs> and so I say, to, I say to every woman and every man, there's both a fool and a king. And the wise woman will call out the king and the man and let that fool alone. Oh, oh all yes. Right now. All right, now. Yes. I let y'all talk. I'm done. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know, um, Dr. Stan, I forgot to mention wow. in the intro that you have been endorsed by Les Brown. How hey. did that happen? Well, I tell you, many, many years ago, so crazy. Uh, speaking somewhere, somebody said, man, you remind me of Les Brown. I said, who? They said, Les Brown. I said, who's that? They said, you don't know who Les Brown is? I said, you probably don't know who I am either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And of course, I say, man, he's like, and at the time, I was just uh, travel as an evangelist. And so, I, you know, I wasn't doing uh, business back then. I was just preaching. And so, um, the guy said, man, but your voice, the way your voice sounds, in a way. So, and so I looked up, Les Brown, I said, oh, motivational speaker, you know. Yes. And, um, and so, anyway, make a long story short, um, then uh, eventually I got involved in a home based business. And then, of course, online, but then uh, in the home based business, uh, you meet different people, which is so incredible because you just never know what's going to happen. And you meet somebody in one business, but then they're doing, they end up doing something else. And then they yeah. are often used of God to open up the door to get, say, man, we got this guy, man, you got to have this guy come speak. I'm telling you, you know, so I don't know how many different speed engagements I've gotten yeah. because somebody we were in business with that heard me somewhere else, went somewhere else and said, you got to have this guy. Right. And so somebody called me, to look, Les Brown's in town and he's a speaker here. So you need to come here, man, this guy is going to be great. And, you know, and I got an extra ticket. You asked like, okay, Hey, I love that. I've heard about him and looked him up online. And so then we, we got to meet and uh, then um, the next connection, we actually got to speak together. And then another connection he and I, and another guy uh, to speak. So we shared the stat platform several times and he's like, doc, man, the way you break that stuff, man, when you're doing your, it's incredible. So we just got closer and closer and, um, you know, and uh, so it's been a blessing uh, to know him. And uh, he's just, of course, he's, you know, just incredible. 
his voice alone, right? And here's what's amazing, you know, because people say to me, some, you know, Doc, is your voice, something about your voice. And I remember saying about that, about other people, you know, it's like, man, right. their voice that they have, it's, I mean, they say good stuff, but just their voice, right? And then one day it dawned on me, and this is why anybody that aspires to be a speaker, you got a certain voice that people will be tuned into mm-hmm. that won't tune into anybody else. Right. Well, right. as they tune Absolutely. in to your voice. So, so don't think you're not as good as so-and-so, you know. No, it's about uniqueness, right? Mm-hmm. And so when I was little, my mom had this, we had a dog, Sheba, half German Shepherd, half Husky. And my mom would blow the dog whistle. I'd say, Mom, what are you doing? I'm calling Sheba. I don't hear nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. He hears it. And so what, what was she saying? Later, she explained to me as I got a little older, dogs have a frequency that they could hear it, right? Yeah. And so I know when I speak, I got it. There's a certain frequency that it touches up. You know, some people are like, oh, he's too loud. He's too, you know, scriptural for me. He's too whatever. Uh, and then, but there's that that group, the right ones. And see, that's all I got to do when I speak. I don't have to try to make everybody have. I just got to get those ones that are there for, right? And those are the ones that become evangelists and tell other people, right? So I uh, just wanted to throw that at you real quick. So. Right, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's, so, that's, that's incredible. Yeah. No, so incredible. we just want to say that no, uh, we're over the 30 minute mark oh, right now. So we okay. just want to get our audiences permission to continue because we do have i think one more question yeah we just have one more question (laughs) so guys is it okay if we continue go ahead and give us a thumbs up or yes in the uh in the chat chat box that way we know boom 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 and i hope you guys are getting as much value as we are sorry (laughs) that's okay you know how it is we talk over each other and everything because we're so excited all right we got a yes boom 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 Let's go, let's go. All right, let's bring, all, right. all right, there we go. All of the yeses coming in. All bring right. it on. All right, so the last question, Dr. Stan. So this is a big one. All right, we got one here. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right, so if you've ever been in a situation where the money stops coming in, your books, everything that you have created, the income stopped coming in, mm-hmm. and you just had your phone, your computer, and 30 days, 30, 30 days to succeed and start making money again, what would you do? Um, I do it like I did. Uh, actually, I'm look, thinking about starting a 21-day breakthrough financial challenge. Mm-hmm. Um, I was working with a company, and and they did something out of integrity for based on what we agreed, so I started over. And I said to myself, I want to make $100,000 in 21 days. And in 21 days, I made just over $101,000, nothing but my phone and my computer. And guess what? The sales skills that I, first of all, sold myself on the ideal. I can do it and I will do it. So watch this. My, my, one of my main mentors again, and that's the beauty of having paid mentors, right? I invested, bought every book, every course, every coaching session, and it paid off. So I asked, yeah. what does Mr. Bailey, uh, similar question, Mr. Bailey, what's the wor- worst, worst day of your life? He said, I never had anybody ask me that. I said, I know how to handle the good days. Those are easy. I yeah. want to know what did you do on the worst day of your life? He said, well, the worst day of my life is when I lost $12 million. Mm. I was like, you had 12 to lose. Yeah. <laughs> He said, I said, so what did you do? He said, here's what happened. First of all, he said, I talked to myself and I said, self, you made it before, but you were younger. So you'll make it again because you're more experienced. And if you did it before, you'll be able to do it again, but it's going to be a little easier because you already know the pitfalls now. And so he said, I talked to myself and as he said, and I did it. I was like, wow. And so I t- I've done that in my life. Now, real quick, uh, I'm going to tell you this last story. In my book, I, I only have it with one of my books. Um, but anyway, um, your breakthrough is guaranteed on page uh, 81. So a lady bought my book. She told me, she said, you ought to tell people when they get the book, start at page 80 and 81. That's the best part of the whole book. And I'm thinking, what? <laughs> so I get <laughs> I pull, open up page 80, 81. And I talked about this. And I close out with this. Mm-hmm. Now, here I am traveling all over. I had to... But I put all my eggs at this time. I didn't understand multiple streams of income. I had all my eggs on one big basket. There was a big, beautiful, well-paying basket. Mm-hmm. And it cracked. I mean, I, I, so watch this now. 
I end up being homeless. Now, thank God I had a friend that had a trailer let me stay there, but I didn't have a home. It, I mean, <laughs> what mine? Thank God I had a friend. Let, so, so watch this. So I end up being homeless, but I also end up being, are you ready for this? Phoneless. Mm. Wow. And then I end up being car. So when you homeless, phoneless, car, no car, no, you talk. Mm. But here's what I had. I had the mindset, the skill set. Now, thank God, the guy, and the trailer, they had a little little phone, you know, that I could use. And a, uh, a guy finally um, called me. He's like, man, I've been trying to get a hold of you. And somebody, you called somebody, and they got that number, and they told me this is your new number or something. I was like, well, that's not, well, anyway, it's a, it's a way you can reach me. So, well, look, I got this company, and I told them all about you, and they want you to be their international. I said, I'll take it. So no, 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 I didn't even tell you to do I said, I'll take it. I said, well, okay, but, but we're going to pay you $5,000 per speech and we're going to send you on the tour. I said, I'll take it. Right. <laughs> I didn't tell him my situation and then he didn't need to know. But right. I know one thing I was, I was believing I'm going to get back up and my story's going to be bigger and better than before. Wow. Well, uh, they start again, they pay me $5,000 per speech. They sent me on the store and uh, the guy said, look, it's a network marketing company. He said, do you mind if I'll pay to put a spot in for you? And, I, you know, you just speak. But if somebody comes to hear you and they're interested, send them to me. And I'll, if they're interested, I'll sign them up underneath this spot that I put in for you. Mm -hmm. Well, then I started getting these other checks beside the, you know, and I was like, and of course, they paid all the expenses, too. <laughs> Thank God, because I couldn't have got there. But anyway, watch this. Literally, and I'm not exaggerating. I probably wouldn't believe you, but it happened to me and I had to believe it. And I still got check stubs to prove it. Mm -hmm. Literally. I called the guy, you know, after the first month, I was like, man, these checks are getting good other than the, thank God for the 5,000 per talk speeches, you know, but, but, but this, what I got to do to get bigger checks. And I slowed down. He showed me how that compensation plan worked. And by the grace of God, by the fourth and the fourth month, I was making $25,000 per week. Let me mm. say it again, not month, twenty. Five thousand hmm. per month, and what the big nest egg I lost? I mean, per week. Excuse me. I wouldn't even make a twenty-five a month. I was making twenty-five a week. That's a hundred thousand a month within four and a half months of starting being homeless, phoneless, and carless. Wow! Are you with me. So that's why they call me Doctor Breakthrough. It ain't just some name. This is what I live. This is what I've done, my friend. And as mm -hmm. uh, so I'm telling you, yeah. A setback is a setup for you to come back. And when right. you get a setback, guess what, my friend? God can show up. And when God shows up, you can go up, you can grow up. And then, my friend, you can get up, go up, and grow up. So my time is over. I'm over time. God bless you. I hope that answers your wow. question. Yes, you did. That was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Wasn't that phenomenal. Oh, my God. Yes. I mean, if, no. guys, if you have any questions, now's the time. Well, now's the time if you have any questions, guys. <laughs> I do see in the chat that a couple of people want to know where to get um your, your book. book. You want to know where to get your book. Okay. So well, if they go to drbreakthrough.com, www.drdrbreakthrough.com, uh, then go there. Now, by the way, if also uh, write this number down, 717-275-3508. That's 717 717- Two seven five three five zero eight. Um, so seven one seven two seven five three five zero eight. That's actually my cell number. Now you call, I won't answer, but there's a there's a voice message. But but there's a voice message that I have there that you need to listen to. Now when I was building different businesses, um, you know now I just train for a bunch of different businesses. But but I would put a message like the one on there, but about that business, right? So I want y'all to get an idea that y'all those y'all different businesses. Since you paying for your phone number, because one day my, my my brother, one of my brothers said, man, I call, I don't, I ain't trying to listen to no three minute motivational speech. And, <laughs> and, uh, and so I wanted to, uh, I was going to say, well, you know, it's free advertisement. I was like, well, it ain't free. I'm paying for it. So I, I said, Hey bro, if you want to pay my phone bill, I'll put on there anything you want. But if I'm going to pay, I'm going to put on there what I want. But I did adjust it where I, and you'll see when you dial 717-275-3508. It says, hey, if you don't want to hear this message, hit pound to leave a voice message. It'll skip over. But in case you want to hear it. And then I give this. Matter of fact, it's so powerful. And I'm just telling you what others have said. Because a few times, now, if your name's in my phone, sometimes if, I, if I'm available, I'll answer, right? And a few times I answer the phone because it was somebody I knew. 
And they're like, no, Dr. Breakthrough, hang up. I got a friend that's discouraged. And I told him, if they just hear your voice message, it's going to change their whole day. So hang up. We're going to call back and don't answer. <laughs> right. Wow. I've had that happen many, many times. Right. And so wow. now I try to encourage other people. Hey, put a powerful message on your end. Don't just put a regular message like everybody else. And if you're you got a home based business, then put on there something about, hey, if you like to learn how I went from this to this or. You know, I teach people, right? Like, like one of the things I do is say, look, if you got, if you're, uh, what you, if you're, what you do from nine to five, that's your business. But what you do after that is my business. So if you want to be empowered to learn how to make income after that, let me know. And then I start saying something like, hey, my business is to empower you to do your business, whatever it is. So if you want information on that, uh, you know, let me know. But, but put something, when people call, they need to hear something encouraging. They need to hear something that makes them say, man, I need to call back. I need to, I, you know, and so uh, several people told me, they said, doc, just, just let people call and listen to that. If they just listen to it one time. So I had one person said, I'm going to call back about 10 times because I'm going to have to write, I'm trying to write down that stuff you say. So, so please just, just don't, I'm not stalking you. Yeah. Just, right. So do that. And then again, go to the internet mentor.com. Yeah. Take that, go to the full uh, the free, um, the art of selling without selling, and you'll get that uh, daily attitude adjuster. Now, for this, the month of October, um, I put down, uh, I wrote something called How to Make Your October Outstanding. It's about three minutes. If I close out with that, I, I'll give you extra credit. So everybody else can be dismissed, but if you want extra credit, I used to be a college professor, right? If you want extra <laughs> credit, I want to give you this. And again, this is something that I do every day. And by the way, this is the difference. See, there's some people, this is one day. Thank you for putting that number down. That right, 717-275-3508. Okay. Uh, so again, remember, I won't answer. But uh, now if you leave a message, I, I return my messages, right? Uh, but uh, but again, you just want to call so you can hear and you want to get an idea of something you can do on your own. But don't just let somebody call your phone. Hey, it's so-and-so. Mm -hmm. Just leave a message. I'll get back to you. Are you kidding me? So mm. people get value when they just call and listen. To so anyway, okay, here we go. By the way, businesses call. They're like, I don't, man. What? They're like, dude, I never heard an answer machine like this. Uh, I called about something else, but I just need to talk to you. <laughs> what do you, what do you do? So anyway, so drbreakthrough.com is where you can get my books and everything. And so, and then my main book, uh, your breakthrough is guaranteed. But then, just the most recent one is how to build a big team fast, showing how mm -hmm. I built a team of zero to twenty-two thousand four and a half months. Another team in six and a half years, me and my wife, from zero to 1.5 million people on Ooh. our team. Yeah. You can only do that through the internet, right? I mean, you can that's right. Uh, that's right. And so we personally sponsored 998 people personally, and that blossomed in six and a half years to 1.5 million. I mean, we were having $22,000 days. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. That's so how to make it? Yeah. So how to make your October outstanding. And I know we're halfway through, but hey, listen, you it don't take sometimes but a day or two. But anyway, I'm making my October outstanding because I will no longer fight for my limiting beliefs, yeah. but rather I will focus on my limitless success. The sky can't be the limit. There are footprints on the moon. I'll stand outside the box others have created for me. I'm making my October outstanding because I am initiating or at least participating in my own success and rescue. See, God already put inside of me the help that I need, just like he did with Adam. Thus, I will flow with the process, even when painful, that will empower me to bring out the answer from the inside of me. I'm making my October outstanding because I'm no longer concerned about why I don't fit in. It's because the Most High made me to stand out. And when I stand out, it empowers others to walk in their uniqueness. I'm making my October outstanding because I was, and I, I now realize, excuse me, that the only reason to identify my limitations is to know what I need to break through. <laughs> the difficult I do now, the impossible may take a while, but it can and will be done because I will until. I'm making my October outstanding because I am committed to doing what I haven't done so I can experience what I haven't experienced. Even like Picasso, I will do that which I cannot do in order that I may learn how to do it. 
So I learned by doing, by trial and error and course correction, like an airplane that's off course up to 90% of the time. I'm making my October outstanding because I no longer allow others or even my own negative opinion about my past, my life, my business, etc., to become my reality. But rather, I only allow God's opinion to become my reality. He calls me an overcomer. So I'll come over or break through whatever comes against me. Mm. Making my October outstanding yeah. because those who count me out can't count or don't count <laughs> or what they say is no longer of any account to me. <laughs> I when it. I lack belief in me, I believe in God's belief in me. I am making my October outstanding because I'm surrounding myself with those who bring out the best and success in me instead of those who bring out the stress and sin in me. I'm making my October outstanding because I am powerful, I'm favored, I'm brilliant, and I can do all things through Christ. Listen to this. I'm a masterpiece because I am a piece, a product, and most importantly, I am the priority of the master himself. Right. <laughs> I'm making my October outstanding because I'm preparing myself knowing that my time will come. So I say what I want, not what I see, knowing that one day I, along with others, will see what I have said. Mm -hmm. So I'm making my October outstanding mm -hmm. because I have fears, but my fears don't have me. As a matter of fact, I also have faith, and my faith has me, faith fully anticipating it to happen. I'm divorcing, as a matter of fact, my fears and marrying my faith. This is why I declare October is outstanding. So I'm standing out from the rest and believing and striving to be my very best. Yes. It's outstanding October. Come on. Mm. Yes. So if you want to yes. 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 So happy thank birthday, you. Lisa Cardalico, honey. Hey, happy, happy birthday, Lisa. Lisa. Happy birthday. Yeah. What an awesome gift, right? Yes, honey. Yes. I hope you enjoyed this to the fullest. Yeah. Oh, if you want a copy God, of that October crazy. declaration, if you just text me at 717-275-3508, I got it in MP3 form, set the music, and it'll bless you. So Whoa. dial the number, listen to it, and then send the text and just say October a declaration and, you know, but I don't need it. Need your name, email. To, I ain't trying to collect your information. Don't need it. But <laughs> anyway, I, I, I don't mean. I, I, okay. Oh, how did I, okay. No. No. Anyway. But no. I don't, but no. 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 But that's not the purpose of this time. I'm saying. But just send me a text, and then I, if you want that, if if you don't, don't worry about it. But I'll send that uh, then to you. And again, I do think you ought to listen to the voice message, oh, and it'll bless you if you enjoyed what you heard. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. We're gonna definitely get that. You better believe it. That's why I was like, yeah. we got the phone number now. <laughs> Every one of you have the phone number, even if you're coming in at a well, later time. My wife's time, like, baby, right? why'd you give your number out? I said, because I want people to call me. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm a speaker. I'm a trainer. I build businesses. I'm, I'm like, hey, you know what I mean? So, yeah. but, I, I said, but I got a powerful message that filters people. So negative people, and now they don't even get, they, they can't even make it through my answer machine. They, yeah. don't, even, they don't even make it through. Yeah, I could imagine. Yeah, hey, great that. idea, huh? Yeah, that's an awesome great idea. idea. Yeah, <laughs> like we need to try that. that. We got our you got our wheels turning. You better believe it. Well, that's we great. are so so blessed to have had Dr. Stan here with us. Guys, remember we're having a contest right now. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check the online success made simple, right? <laughs> check that group and you're going to find the contest details. Dr. Stan, stick around. Right, stick yes. around for everybody else, and everybody go to online success. What is it again? Online made success simple. made simple, made simple because yes, you don't want it difficult. Online success made simple, and yeah. to get the information, be part of the group, and you'll be glad you did. That's part of being around people that help bring out the success in you instead of the stress in you. So, go there now, yes, yes. absolutely, right. absolutely. Yes. Yes. We'll see you guys next, next. Tuesday, of course. Yes. Live at five. Have a great evening. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.